Hey, what's up guys? Jeremy here with RC Militia, and we have the review of the Kyosho DRX VE today. Uh, right off the bat, I'm just going to let you guys know I have no rally car experience before this, no on-road car experience before this, before this. so my review is not going to be that great. Uh, you might want to look to other people who have actually uh, had more on-road and more uh, like rally car type uh, experience. Um, but I can tell you from my, I only have pretty much off-road experience, that's it. But, uh, so I can give you my opinion and, um, definitely don't base whether you're going to get the car or not off of my opinion, because there's definitely other people you should be looking at to, to find out. But you can take, take what I say and take what other people say and then, uh, make your opinion or on whether you want to buy it or not. Um, first off, I had a blast driving this thing. I was, I was really impressed with the way it handled off-road. I was a little leery, um, of buying it because like I said, I'm pretty much an off-road person. But uh, and I didn't think it handled very good off road, but it does actually handle really good off road. It took it soaked up some huge bumps. Um, the suspension is just it's great. And by looking at this and the WR8, I think this is going to be more of an off road. I think you're going to get more um, better results with uh, this off road than you would the HPI WR8. Uh, I'm going to be buying that though, so don't worry. I'll definitely have something to compare it to. Um, but the tires handle great. Uh, on, on dirt. The dirt I was running on was more of a hard, compact dirt. It was still off-road though. I wasn't running on track or anything like that. Um, and it did it did really well. Uh, another thing I like about it, uh, the, sc the shell is just incredible. If you're looking for um, scale at all uh, with the rally cars that are out right now, I think this is going to be the most scale out of all of them. Uh, just going off of looks and looking at other ones on the internet and stuff, I think this is going to be definitely by far the most scale out of all of them. Uh, it is a one ninth scale car also, and I do believe the WR8 is, uh, I think they call it one eight scale, but it is quite a bit smaller than this one. And the Traxxas Rally is based off the Slash, so the Traxxas Rally might be a little bit bigger than this one. I'm not sure because the Traxxas, the, the one tenth scale short course trucks are usually pretty large. So, and I saw my Slash, I don't have to, anything to compare it to, but the Rally might be a little bit bigger than this one. But like I said, the shocks are great. It comes with aluminum shock caps and aluminum shock collars. Shock collar. <laughs> and then the, uh, the cover uh, actually works surprisingly well. It kept, I had a lot of debris and dirt back in here when I was running. I was running up at um, Jamera's house and she, or Jamera's mom's house. And she, uh, there's a lot of weeds and gravel and stuff. And it got, you know, a lot of the weeds and stuff were back here, but nothing, was, I mean, under the shell at all. It did a really good job of protecting, keeping stuff out. Um, I mean, there's a big foam bumper, so that's great. <laughs> uh, this far, I didn't take it off any jumps or anything like that. Um, when the times I've driven it, um, so, I mean, I can't tell you how it jumps and stuff like that, but I think mostly it's supposed to go off of, you know, smaller jumps and stay planted. I did take it off with some few little jumps, but I wouldn't call them jumps for me. Um, but I mean, I have driven this thing a bunch, and it is just—it's—it's it's a lot of fun. Uh, it comes with an Orion 2400kV motor, and uh, the the it comes with an Orion. I can't remember what the name it actually is called. The Orion uh, Vortex is what I think it's called. I believe is what it's called. Um, speed controller. It's not waterproof or anything, but. Uh, it's fun. I mean, I would definitely recommend buying the car. If you're looking at a rally car and you want scale, buy this for sure. Uh, I I mean, I, I, I knew the HPR WR8 was coming out, and I didn't know the Traxxas Rally was coming out, but uh, if I had to, you know, pick one rally car, again, for me to buy, uh, not saying based on performance, but based on looks and stuff, I would take this over any of them. Uh, you can also get it in the uh, Subaru body. This is the Ford Focus body. I just think the Ford Focus body is cool, and I love Ford, so <laughs> that's another reason I went with that one. Um, it's got an aluminum chassis on it. Uh, cha I don't, the chassis hasn't bent at all on me or anything. There's no no bad results there. Uh, it comes wired with beans, so that's a plus. Uh, the A arms, they're, they're pretty pretty rigid on it. I mean, I beat the heck out of the thing when I was driving it, and it just. I probably took it where rally plate rally cars are not supposed to go, but uh, it held up great. I mean, I haven't broken one thing on this. Now, mind you, I haven't been as hard on this as I have, uh, you know, my other cars like the Summit, the Stampede, or something like that. 
but this isn't designed for that. Um, I'm sure you could try and do that if you wanted to with it. I'm sure I could launch it off some massive jumps and see, but you might get some some parachuting due to this body. <laughs> so I don't know how good it would be on huge jumps and stuff. But uh, And on-road, the thing is it handles great on-road too. So, I mean, if you want to put some street tires on this, it, I think it would be a good on-road car too. Once again, I have never driven an on-road car before, so um, it, it, maybe it's crappy on-road. <laughs> But from my opinion, driving it on the road, I was really, really, really impressed. Uh, it handles better than any of the cars I have so far on the road, but of course that's pretty much a given with the style of car it is. Um, the only negative I have on it, uh, well, there's two negatives on it. The battery tray is a little bit small. I can't fit a Gen's Ace uh, 5000 MAH 3 cell uh, in it. So I was running a, uh, gosh, I can't remember what it was. I think it was a it was a Sky Lipo soft pack three cell that I was running in there, and uh, I also ran the two uh, S, um, the Gen's Ace two S fifty eight hundred mAh, and this battery lasts a long time in this car. Uh, I mean, um, speaking of that, motor temps were great on this car as well, and I was pretty hard on it. I mean, I was on it full throttle most of the time, and uh, it did great. And I got great run time out of the Gen's Ace fifty eight hundred two S. Uh, battery. It was a perfect, perfect setup for it. The 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 2S may be a little bit slow for some people. Um, I would rather. I mean, it's great on 2S. It's great on 3S. It's just whatever you want to drive, whatever you're comfortable with, your speeds and stuff like that. But uh, it's it's great on both. I mean, of course, it's going to be more impressive on 3S if you can uh, stick a 3S battery in there. But like I said, the uh, Battery tray it was some modifications and stuff that you might have some better luck with batteries, but it's just not very tall So uh, it's definitely long enough for any battery out there, but it's it's not tall enough So it would have been cool to have maybe a little bit uh, More of a battery expansion. I mean you got all kinds of room under here So they could have you know, maybe done something so you could get a fit a taller battery in there and stuff the radio I mean it, It's a pretty pretty cheesy radio, but um well, it looks cheesy. I mean, it didn't perform cheesy. It performed great. Had great range to it and stuff. So, I mean, it's it's a it's a good radio for for what it is. It's it's a it's actually a really good radio. There's, um, of course, you got your steering, your throttle trim on that there. Uh, you got your dual rates on it. So, I mean, it's it's actually uh, you know not too bad. I mean, it looks it looks cheesy as hell, but it's actually a really good radio. Um, so with that, guys, I'm probably gonna probably gonna wrap it up and. Uh, I mean, it's it's a great car. I'll do some close-up um, video of it for you guys so you can see what it looks like and stuff. But like I said, it it performs great. The steering servo, I mean, it was actually really good. I was in, I mean, I was impressed with the steering servo on it for being for being stock. I mean, it's you couldn't really ask for more. I mean, it, all around, it's it's a great car. Uh, if you're thinking about getting a rally car out there on the market, go ahead. I mean, definitely check this one out. Uh, watch other people's reviews and stuff. Like I said, it's my first rally car. First on-road rally, you know, type car, and it's it's done great. Uh, I know Joe has the Tamiya. He likes that a lot, I think. Um, the Tamiya VX01 or something like that. I can't remember what it's called, but, um, yeah, this is it's a great car. I mean, I couldn't really ask for more in a rally car. It's a, it, it, ex it lived up to all my expectations that I had of a rally car, so I am completely impressed with it. Uh, I love the kit. It's great. Now, that may change when I get the WR8. I may like the WR8 better, but I, I doubt it. It's I mean it's it's going to be a great car no matter what. But I am going to get the WR8 and compare that. Uh, I'm not going to be getting the Traxxas rally car because it's just a slash. So I mean, it's it's just a slash with the low center of gravity on it. So <laughs> I'd rather buy a slash with the low center of gravity chassis on it. But I mean, then you're just buying the same car anyway. So <laughs> but uh, oh, and one other negative thing. Um, there's little inserts. The uh, let me come up to the camera real quick. You can see that in here, the uh, there's lights and stuff that actually sit back in, and I don't know if you can see this very well, but uh, there's these little cups with the graphics for the lights and stuff back in there, and uh, the rear ones fell out on me, so and I had to tape those back in, so that's not a big deal. But all in all, great car, guys. I'll get some close-ups of it for you and some pictures and. Hopefully you liked the review. I went over everything that I could think of. Uh, uh, it's a great car. If you're wanting one, then definitely for scale, for rally, go out and buy it for sure. It's not going to disappoint you. All right, guys. Leprechaun79 saying peace, have fun, and take care. Have a good Thanksgiving.